Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and I'm here to bring you a very quick tutorial on how to set up a Windows install on a USB flash drive. Now this is a great guide for those who just built their PC and are ready to install Windows. All you need is a flash drive that is eight gigabytes in capacity or greater and access to the internet and another computer to be able to create a Windows 10 USB. I will be sure to leave all the links in the description down below to everything you need, along with a link to GVG Mall, which is a sponsor of the main channel, the Tosi Bros, that gives you access to Windows 10 keys at a really cheap discount, because what you're going to be downloading is a non-activated version of Windows, and you still need a key to activate it if you want to get rid of that annoying watermark that appears in the bottom right-hand corner. So use that link down below if you do plan on doing this method and you want to activate Windows on the cheap and not pay over $100 for a Windows 10 key, highly suggest you Using the link down below and use code TB20 on checkout to save 20%. Now, let's not waste any more time and let's get into the tutorial, shall we? First thing you're going to need is to go in the description down below and click on the link to Microsoft.com. All you're going to be doing is downloading the media creation tool, which basically is going to take this flash drive and turn it into a bootable USB that will allow you to install Windows. So all you got to do is click on download this tool, which I've already done already. And then once that finishes downloading, insert your flash drive, make sure you format it, which I'll show you how to format it real quick after I put it in my computer. So the flash drive is inserted. We'll pull up our file explorer here, ignore all my random drives that I have going on here. And all we're going to do is click on our flash drive, which mine is right here. It's 14 gigs in capacity. We're going to right click, hit format, make sure it is FAT32 by default. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to call it Windows 10 so I don't get it confused when I am trying to pick which drive to install this bootable uh, program to. So we're going to hit start. Let this format, I've already done this already, but again, you just should do it to any flash drive just to make sure it is good to go. And format is complete, and now we see right here we have Windows 10, which is my F drive. Now what you're gonna do is go to your downloads and pull out the media creation tool. I have it right here on my desktop real quick. We're gonna double click on that, hit yes. And then this will pop up where basically saying is getting things ready. And what you're going to be doing is selecting your USB drive and then waiting for, well, basically Windows to download and then create a bootable drive on that USB flash drive. So you can read the terms if you want to. Scroll down, scroll down, hit accept. And then what you're going to do is select the option to create installation media, which is using a flash drive. Now, you can upgrade a current computer if you're running something like Windows 7 and can upgrade directly to Windows 10 this way. But that is not the purpose of this tutorial. We're talking about a brand new PC. So create installation media. Hit next. Uh, agree to the recommended options. Next. USB flash drive of 8 gigs or greater. Okay. Hit next. And then what you're going to do is find your flash drive, which if you named it Windows 10, will make it really simple so you don't click something that is not a flash drive. Or you can just make sure to unplug every external drive that you have in your computer. Uh, if this is a new PC, you probably won't have any. All you'll have is your hard drive and SSD, which won't pick up. So you really shouldn't mess this up here. But we're going to hit our F drive and hit Next. And now this process is going to take a little bit depending on your internet connection. It's going to download Windows 10, install it to the drive, and then once it's done, it will pop up a confirmation, which we'll go ahead and skip to that. All right, guys, now we are into the BIOS. All you need to do to get into the BIOS is, one, you need to basically spam either F2 or delete when you're posting your computer. But if this is a brand new PC install and Windows is not installed on your SSD already, then really it will just go ahead and boot to the USB drive because there's nothing else to boot into. So this is mainly for those who are trying to install Windows on a PC that already has Windows installed. You're going to have to go into the BIOS and change your boot order, which basically just involves you going to the boot menu option and keep in mind BIOSes do look different based on the mother or manufacturer so you can go to your boot menu options or you can go under advanced mode uh, and go under boot settings and from here you'll basically change the number one boot option to well let's say my flash drive which is this one right here we'll go ahead and do that we'll hit exit save changes and when we finish restarting we should be booted into the Windows 10 install utility which I'll walk through the basic steps for doing that all right, if you did everything right, you should have gotten to this screen right here, which all you have to do from here is hit next, hit install, wait for everything to load up here. Now I'm not gonna be going through the install process because well, I'm using my main PC here, so do keep that in mind. If you did buy a Windows 10 key from GVG Mall, you can't insert it here, but if you do plan on buying one later, you could just hit I do not have a product key. 
And then from here, what you're gonna do is select Windows 10 Pro because that is normally the best one to go with. If you do happen to have a key for Windows 10 Home or any of these other versions, you should know which version the key is for, so install that version. But I do highly suggest going with Windows 10 Pro. Hit Next, hit Accept these terms. And then what you're going to do is hit custom install. And from here, you're probably going to see one drive or two drives, especially if you built a new PC. And what you're going to do is make sure you pick the right drive. Let's say you have a configuration of an SSD and a hard drive, make sure you install Windows on the SSD. So know the capacity of your drives to be able to choose which is which. And also you can just kind of tell based on the drive number. So if you plugged into SATA zero, then drive zero will show up. SATA one would be drive one, SATA two, drive two. Uh, you should know that by looking at your motherboard. But all you have to do is click on the drive that you want to install Windows onto, hit next, and then basically it'll install Windows, restart a couple times, and then take you to the startup screen that allow you to create an account and set up your Windows 10 install. And pretty much you're done. You have Windows 10 on your computer and all you have to do now is activate it if you want to, and you're on your way to enjoying your gaming PC. And that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. If you like this video, please drop a like. And if you have any questions about this process, comment down below and I'll do my best to try to help you out. But if you guys are new to this channel be sure to subscribe we'll have a lot of tutorials coming to this channel very soon to help you with your new pc build and pretty much anything under the sun whether you like cars any sort of diy jobs that's basically what this channel is for so thank you guys again for watching this video and i hope to see you all in the next one